That's stuff will kill you. I'm 87 years old. Mm -hmm. Something else will get me sooner. This room looks different. Mm -hmm. I thought you might have moved. Obviously, I didn't. You might have a little more to say to me after all these years. Why should I have anything to say to you? Well, it's been a while. 53 years in November. That long? It's not something you forget. Even at my age. Our age. You don't look any older. I wouldn't, would I? You're not real. How am I supposed to know what you should look like? Oh, words hurt, Polly. All that, please. I always hated Paul. <laughs> I know, that's why I always said it. See, how can you say that I'm not real? Would something that you dreamed up call you by a name that you can't stand? I don't have time for this. It's late. Yes, it is. And you're dead. Yes, I am. I killed you. I was going to mention it. But... <laughs> <laughs> I lost my mind. Is that what this is? I have like years of guilt. I'm manifesting in hallucinations. Well, do you feel guilty? I don't know. That's not an answer. I killed you. And neither is that. You didn't deserve it. You know, what do you want me to say? I don't know. I thought you might apologize. Apologize to my hallucination. Well, if you'd like. <laughs> Molly will have to have me committed. I have lost my mind. Molly. How is she? Hmm. Come on, Polly, humor me. She retired from teaching last year. She's a grandmother now, minus two. His daughter has two children already. Grandparents. Our kids' grandparents. Wow. And you a great grandmother. That must make you feel old. I am old. <laughs> so what do the little ones call you? Nana, Grand? Certainly not. They call me great grandma. You can't be serious. Have you ever known me to be anything but? Well, I thought you might have lightened up a bit over the last half century. When would I have done that? It hasn't been easy without you. I was a single mother. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, obviously, was my choice killing you. <laughs> I know that. I'm just saying it wasn't easy. Well, then why? I didn't deserve it. You said that yourself. I love, never laid a hand on you, and I love those kids more than anything. So why'd you do it, Polly? Paulette, please. You killed me. I'll call you whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> after you lost your job. Oh, here we go. You asked. After you lost your job, everything seemed so bleak. Roger, we were going to lose the house. I couldn't even buy groceries. And your life insurance policy was about to expire. I had to do something. <laughs> something is haunting your wedding ring. I did, and yours. And still there wasn't any money. Our kids were going to be out in the streets. What did you do with the money? I paid off the house. It didn't go as far as you would think. But. We had some security, and I had to work. Well, it must have been hard. I'm not complaining. I don't want you to think I lived lavishly. I didn't just sit back and take it easy for the next 53 years. I worked hard to take care of our family. Well, I'm grateful for that. Well, don't. You're the only person I know who can talk about murder and make it seem logical. And you're the only person I know who can make logical sound like a bad thing. Well, when you can justify murder, maybe it is. Stop saying murder. What? It's disconcerting. It was disconcerting for me, too, but I got used to it. Well, I'm not used to it. We don't use the word murder when we talk about you. We say 
heart attack. <laughs> I had a heart attack at 35, and nobody questioned it? Well, it was unexpected, of course. <laughs> but they didn't have the technology back then that they have now. What reason did they have to be suspicious of it? Poor widow. I guess I'm grateful you didn't get caught. You are? Sure. If you would have went to prison, what would have happened to our kids? It seems like they had a comfortable upbringing. Without a father. You can't have everything. <laughs> you were drinking. Oh, don't start that. A few beers with the guys after I lost my job don't make me to be out a damn alcoholic to ease your guilt. I haven't admitted to feeling guilty. Well, do you? I don't know. <laughs> no. Yes. Good. <laughs> Sure. I'm not a saint. Just a ghost. I thought you said I was a hallucination. I've gone off the idea. <laughs> are you scared? Should I be? Why are you here? You know my folly. I guess I do. I still haven't finished the book. <laughs> I'm always the planner. Even death isn't convenient for you. Always the joker. I never knew what you saw in me. A brilliant lady. I never laughed at your jokes. A wonderful mother. Your mother hated me. A beautiful woman. I killed you. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really time? I'm afraid so. Where will I go? Go? I did kill you. Am I headed to hell? Do I have to pay for my sin? How should I know? I never killed anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I have assumed that when you die, you know all the secrets. Well, I guess you're going to have to wait and find out. Um, weren't you an atheist? I was. When did you change your mind? About 30 seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you ready? Of course not. I haven't finished that book. Then I guess you'll never know what happens. Why did you plan that? To get back at me. Sure, Polly. <laughs> you killed me, and 53 years later, I'm getting my revenge by not letting you finish books. <laughs> yes. I guess that was a silly question. Do I have to? Yep. No. No time like the present. Uh, will you be with me? I know that's selfish. I don't have any right to ask you for anything. But will you? Do you remember the night that you killed me? Every day. As I was drifting off, after I drank the tea, you kissed me. You stayed with me. Let me hold you. You hadn't let me hold you in weeks. You stayed with me. It was the least I could do. Was it hard watching me die? I called the ambulance before you were even gone. I wanted to take it back. I wanted to tell them everything. But you didn't. By the time it got there, by the time it got there, they said there was nothing that they could do. You were gone. I had to stick with the plan. Always the plan. I am sorry. I know, Polly. 